Hello my fellow exiles and today I'm back with uh, my adaptation of Arma Stacking Champion uh, for for poor <laughs> and the concept is basic we stack auras but we are not a typical aura stacker uh, because we use only grace, uh, purity of fire, purity of ice, wrath, determination and defiance banner uh, so, as you can see, um, the items except Unix are pretty trash, uh, and uh, all I wanted to get um, is minus lightning grass to hit uh, the cap of minus 200 lightning resistance. And we have casual Red Becker Dream Feathers uh, for this build with uh, just not trash corruption uh, because uh, we benefit. Uh, our women's sectants are dream uh, to have uh, the corrupted items. Uh, we have Alpha's Hole for mana reservation efficiency, and of course, Dorian is prototype, uh, which allows us to um, have our enemies' uh, light resistance equal to ours. Uh, so um, we use Ans Anguish, uh, corrupted Ans Anguish, uh, to get some our effect and. Um, to convert our endurance charges to brutal charges uh, to have a chance to deal some triple damage and as you can see it's uh, a huge huge amount of damage it provides and some thread of hopes so of course if we uh, have much more investment in this build we want better items with some movement speed uh, some lightning damage to attacks attack speed uh, and um, it will increase our damage significantly, but we still he have a good amount of uh, defense and uh, offense to deal practically all content. The tree is basic. Uh, we have three large jewels. Um, I used to uh, fill the fight for some mana leech and feed the fury for some life leech, but you can also have your mana leech on... Uh, let me see here on uh, elemental damage with attacks if you take the divergent one uh, so it doesn't matter what large cluster jewels you have um, i advise you to have maybe all of them with combat rhyme to uh, have increased movement speed but they are mm, not cheap uh, for my concept of the build and um, six uh, small uh, jewels with increased reservation efficiency and the introspection node. Uh, so they are usually around 60 70 chaos each, but I managed to craft all by myself and it took around 100 120 alterations to hit uh, the introspection and then just augmented orb and uh, regal orb, and that's all. Um, the tree is basic, we uh, take all increased reservation efficiency and all um, effect of non-curse hours uh, we have. Um, of course we take iron reflexes, uh, every increased armor uh, and evasion node that we can take, and some thread of hopes with uh, medium size to hit the prismatic skin. Uh, uh, large one to hit this one uh, it's a great damage boost so um, here it is not calculated and yeah it's around 1.1 million damage um, some life um, strike skills target one additional nearby enemy for clearing and for bossing because if we target our smite uh, behind the target we uh, hit the boss twice uh, so it hits with uh, the initial attack and with an area of effect attack. Uh, so it's practically 24 million damage, but as you can see area hit is a little bit lower, so we have 22 million boss DPS when all the flasks are up. Um, I think that's all. We hit uh, this lightning mastery because we like uh, lightning damage with non crits is lucky. It's huge damage boost too. Uh, <clears throat> and here I've chosen a very large uh, size of the ring to hit this life node, but it's uh, not mandatory. You can uh, use just a rare jewel and if you manage to get 
some more minus lightning resistance on your gear to hit the cap. For the setup, uh, we have uh, pretty cheap um, gems, so I've managed to uh, take edit, uh, edit lightning damage uh, level 1 for 30 or 40 chaos, I think, and then uh, I just leveled it up uh, with Tora on research, if I if I'm not mistaken, so uh, every run is uh, 20 million um, experience, so it's uh, pretty damn fast. Uh, of course, if you want to spend more, you can get better level of hours, and it will increase your defense and offense. Um, we use multiple totems for both in Blood Rage, Lip Slam, uh, Molten Shell, uh, Enduring Cry. We use on bosses for generating our brutal charges, but while mapping we just uh, gain them if we are hit and just defy banner <laughs> portal custom death uh, we do not uh, die very often uh, of course it's not the transcendence build i made three weeks ago uh, which was practically immortal uh, but um, for this kind of investment it deals all the content uh, except uh, simulacrums uh, after wave 21 uh, so to do that we need uh, uh, elemental element immunity and probably we need to have uh, the all surprising um, instead of uh, our rare amulet with uh, grace reserves no mana um, to have one additional aura and it's haste and uh, with haste we have tons of attack speed and movement speed and uh, uh, mapping becomes Mm, more smooth for Pantheon, yeah, we use Soul of Arakali and Soul of Shakari. Oh, I forget to tell you that we are the champions, <laughs> and um, we use uh, these nodes uh, not to take care of our accuracy and just for some damage boost and our uh, damage reduction. Of course, the arrow of effect and a great. Uh, uh, damage and defense boost from Unstoppable Hero. As you can see, its uh, attack speed and armor plus evasion buffs uh, are just insane. And uh, for Uber Aziri, uh, it can be viable. Mm, so to kill Uber Aziri, you need to. Um, where is it? You need to take. Mm, so of Yugu. And to respect five nodes, three here. Uh, one here and one here to get to this route and to take reduced reflected elemental damage taken. We are okay with our 5 mana cost so we don't need to have all of our um, items to be corrupted uh, for with insect so I have uncorrupted gloves and uncorrupted uh, helmet to have some life regeneration and uh, we're using multi-strike so our 25 mana uh, is enough to sustain our 5 mana cost. So stay tuned, uh, like, subscribe and see you in the next videos. Goodbye!